So the next topic of discussion will be hyperthyroidism or the common form of hyperthyroidism which is Graves disease. You would have uh, seen the other video on hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis where there's a low acting thyroid. In Graves disease, it's a fast reacting thyroid gland or a hyperfunctioning thyroid gland. Hyperfunctioning thyroid gland, pretty much the principle is essentially the same. Your gland gets attacked by thyroid antibodies. But the interesting thing about these antibodies is instead of making the thyroid gland work less, it makes the thyroid gland work more okay the same thing can happen the thyroid gland can become irregular it becomes enlarged so an enlarged thyroid gland what did i say it's called a goiter so it's called goiter so a goiter can be because of hyperactive thyroid gland it can be because of hypoactive thyroid gland or it can just be because the patient is going through puberty or going through pregnancy. So goiter can be because of different reasons, but in this condition, the goiter is because of hyperthyroidism. So in hyperthyroidism, what happens? So the gland gets attacked by the antibodies. The antibodies then make too much of free T4 and T3. Because this hormone is high over here, it suppresses the TSH. Remember, the gland is controlled by the thyroid gland. So if the gland is producing a lot of hormones, then you don't need signals coming from the brain. So if there's no signals coming from the brain, what will happen? The TSH will be low and then the free T4 will be high. So that will be the picture you will see in hyperthyroidism. So Graves' disease will have a high free T4, a low TSH with thyroid antibodies, which is called thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin. Thank you.